Hello friends, welcome in the world of Maths by MEA. In this learning concept video, I am going to discuss my guest concept for the upcoming examinations. We have a circle and two chords which are mutually perpendicular to each other. Then we have a formula, if say this one is x, the chord of this part is x, chord of this part is y, this part is z and this part is w and radius is nothing but r. Then our concept is 4r square is nothing but x square plus y square plus z square plus w square. This is our outcome. Whenever we have a circle and chord and perpendicular, then we are going to apply 4r square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square plus w square. So this is my guess concept for the upcoming examination. Now the question is how I am getting 4r square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square plus w square. Okay. Now deduce this formula. Before deducing this formula, you should know two things. If we have chord x and y and z and w are the two parts of the chord, by chord product formula, we can say x into y is equal to z into w. Product of chord from a point of intersection is always remains constant. So x into y is equal to z into w. This is the first concept you should know. Second concept, when we have a chord, and from center, if we draw a right angle triangle, then we divide chord in two equal parts. So, assume this one is a center. I am going to draw a perpendicular on say chord AB. It means this point say P divides this chord in two equal halves. The total length is X plus Y. The total length is X plus Y. So, this half should be nothing but X plus Y by 2 and this half should be x plus y by 2. If we need to find, say this one point is m. If we need to find pm, then we can say pm is nothing but pb minus mb. So we can say pb is the half of code because p is the center point minus mb is y. So by this we have x minus y by 2. So pm is nothing but x minus y by 2. Now from center O, we draw again a perpendicular on say chord CD and name it Q. So Q should be the midpoint because it is perpendicular. So again, Z plus W divided into two equal parts. That is nothing but W plus Z by 2. And this one is again by this W minus Z by 2. By the same property, we can find MQ is W minus Z by 2. Since we have 90 degree and 90 degree here, we have a 90 degree. So OQ MP is a rectangle if pm is x minus y by 2 so oq is also x minus y by 2 draw od which is nothing but the radius so we have a right angle triangle oqd apply the pythagoras theorem in this figure we have r square that is od square is equal to oq square is x minus y by 2 whole square plus qd square is w plus z by 2 whole square which is nothing but x square plus y square minus 2xy upon 4 plus w square plus z square plus 2wz upon 4. We have 4 in the denominator, so it becomes 4r square, nothing but x square plus y square minus 2xy plus w square plus z square plus 2wz and we know x into y is z into w so 2xy and 2zw cancel out so the 4r square is equal to x square plus y square plus w square plus z square so whenever we have a circle and two chord mutually perpendicular then the formula for the radius is 4r square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square plus w square i hope it is clear this is our deduction and this is our final output now now practice this concept in few questions then we will solve a question from Maths by MEA 500 booklet. Okay. Now solve this question. A, B and C, D are chord perpendicular at M. A, M is 8 cm. M, B is 6 cm. C, M is 4 cm. M, D is 12 cm. Then find the radius of this circle. We know. Now we can solve this question by the formula we learned. That is nothing but 4 R square is equal to 8 square plus 6 square plus 4 square plus 12 square which is nothing but 4 r square is 260 so r square is nothing but 65 so the radius is under root 65 i hope it is clear 
whenever we have two chords perpendicular then 90 percent chances they would ask question on this formula or this concept okay now solve a question from maths by mea 500 booklet okay and the question is ac is the chord of circle as shown in the figure bd is perpendicular to ac find the length of chord ac if bd is 4 cm cd is 2 cm and radius of circle is 10 cm given is bd is 4 cm cd is 2 cm and radius of circle is 10 cm radius is nothing but 10 cm when we have a chord and perpendicular let's extend this line say this line is e and assume ad is nothing but 2x why 2x this would help the calculation 2x into 2 chord product formula should be 4 into something we have 2x into 2 is nothing but 4x so 4 and de should be x we assume ad is 2x dc is 2 given bd is 4 then de should be x because 2x into 2 is equal to 4 into x now apply that concept by that formula 4 into radius square is nothing but 2x square plus 2 square plus 4 square plus x square by solving this we get x is nothing but 2 root 19 and we are looking for what is the value of ac chord ac is nothing but 2x plus 2 so ac is nothing but 2x plus 2 and our x is root 19 so this becomes 4 root 19 plus 2 and this is our answer Whenever we have two chords perpendicular, then 90% chance they would ask question on this concept with the help of 4 into x is equal to 2x into 2 chord product formula. I hope it is clear. Even if you have any doubt, feel free to ping me. Thank you and happy learning.